welcome back to the movie vault my name is rob it's good to see you guys back here on the channel we're back with my 1980s horror picks let's count down 10 horror movies from the 80s that i'm going to recommend to you guys before we get into the video as always i'm going to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel and if you haven't already please consider hitting the bell to get notified every time i post new videos uh, horror lists movie hauls 4k blu-ray dvd reviews uh, retro stuff laser disc vhs funko pops vinyl all that stuff is here on the movie vault so two rules before we get into this video this countdown list if you're familiar with the list now you will know the rules rule number one i have to have the movie on physical media here in the collection in the movie vault and rule number two is this is my list you don't have to like the list you don't have to agree with the list but hear me out there might be some recommendations in here that you haven't seen or if you're looking for some uh, new horror movies to watch this coming halloween check out this list so let's get into the video okay so again this list isn't in any particular order it's just the order i wrote them down on my notes so number one here is 1987's evil dead 2 um also with the tagline dead by dawn and um, directed by sam raimi His cast of course includes bruce campbell sarah berry dan hicks and cassie wesley brilliant stuff so evil dead bursts onto the scene in 81 but i kind of feel it's in evil dead 2 that bruce campbell's kind of you know hilarious comedic side comes out uh, big time on this one this is a blu-ray copy i have have here yeah you know it's it's uh, it comes out a lot more in this movie evil dead 2 than the first one um, lots of blood lots of gore lots of comedy horror hijinks evil dead 2 is my number one pick up here on the list so my number two pick directed by john carpenter is 1982 is the thing brilliant stuff here uh, cast on this one kurt russell keith david wilford brimley richard Massor, and donald moffat just to name a few um special effects makeup by rob bateen is legendary on this one and um, you know the practical effects is really brilliant and director of photography dean cundy looks brilliant and um, kurt russell is great in this one as always and um, the blood test scene is brilliant you, if you've seen this one you're gonna know what i'm talking about here and the ending left it wide open for who is the thing and um, fantastic stuff this is the arrow release here in the slip and um, the blu-ray but um yeah number two on my list is the thing number three i actually have two different versions of so i'm going to show you this is a really old 21st anniversary special edition dvd american werewolf in london i have that in the collection and kind of i uh, don't want to get rid of it i did upgrade to the arrow blu-ray here but uh, i hold on to that because it's a different cover really interesting slip but um 1981 directed by john landis cast on this one david Norton, griffin dunn jenny agutter and john woodvine and um, once again you know i, I talked before in one of the videos about practical effects versus digital and um, you know 80 was big on practical stuff um, probably the greatest uh, maybe decade for practical effects in horror movies and um, so special effects makeup by Rick Baker on this amazing the first on-screen like werewolf transformation I want to say uh, in horror movies great 80s horror movie um, werewolf movie and um, cast is really good and this one really like it and um, yeah I can't say much more about this one uh, Arrow blu-ray here and um, do check it out if you haven't seen a great werewolf movie American werewolf in London is number three number four up on my list here is 1987's brilliant vampire movie the lost boys this is a really old school if you're if you're an old school collector you remember those warner kind of cardboard uh, dvd covers um or you haven't upgraded from the dvd of the lost boys but uh directed by the late joel schumacher um huge cast in this uh Corey Feldman, Jamie Gertz, Corey Haim, Edward Herman, Jason Patrick, Diane Weist, Kiefer Sutherland, and Alex Winter in there as well. This is only Joel Schumacher's like fourth or fifth movie. It's kind of early on in his career. Um, really awesome 80s vampire movie. Uh, really great cast in this, like pretty awesome 80s cast, I have to say. Um, the end showdown is brilliant. The two Corys are hilarious. They're really great in here. And um, yeah, yeah, uh, Lost Boys, uh, really cool 80s vampire movie. Number four up on my list. For number five on my list, we're going back to 1980 for Friday the 13th, the original, the first one that kicked off a 10 movie franchise. Who would have known at the time? Um, young Kevin Bacon is in there, directed by Sean S. Cunningham. Um, other cast, Betsy Palmer is fantastic in here. Adrian King, Kevin Bacon, as I mentioned. Ari Lehman is in there as well. Um, yeah, who would have known this would kick off a 10 movie franchise and the main character of that franchise, Jason, isn't even really in this movie at all. Um, Betsy Palmer is fantastic in this she's really great she comes in and does the role really brilliantly adrian king uh, as i mentioned she stays on the franchise she appears again and um, special effects by a very young tom savini on this one um fantastic score by harry manfredini in here you know iconic uh horror horror team horror score for friday the 13th um 
yeah, I can't really say much more about this one. You know, uh, I think it's pretty well known. Sean S. Cunningham was just trying to come up with a, a horror slasher to kind of, everyone was kind of, once Halloween came along in 78, everyone wanted to go on the ball in the 80s, the early 80s. So um, yeah, so Friday the 13th, the first one is my next pick, number five on the list. My number six 1980s horror pick is 1987's Hellraiser by director Clive Barker. Cast includes Andrew Robinson, Claire Higgins, Ashley Lawrence and Doug Bradley. Um, this is the Arrow release from the Hellraiser trilogy Arrow box set. Um, really awesome artwork on the front of this one here. Once again, special effects makeup deserves a mention here. Bob Keane, fantastic stuff. Uh, practical effects again i'm gonna keep saying that but it's just you know as i said 80s is awesome for practical effects the reanimation sequence of frank up in the attic is really really brilliantly done even though they ha only have kind of a short on-screen time in the movie the centiboids are brilliant especially doug bradley pinhead's makeup is unbelievable brilliant stuff and um, great cast andrew robinson is, is great and then when he switches to frank in the movie fantastic claire higgins is brilliant she comes back in Hell hellbound hellraiser 2 and um, ashley lawrence as well kind of continues on in the franchise as well uh, really liked her when I watched this as a kid and um, yeah only from the mind of Clive Barker would something like this come out of Hellraiser that's my number six pick number seven on my list is uh, I have this cool kind of 25th anniversary edition DVD of Poltergeist 1982 and um, directed by Toby Hooper cast on this one Joe Beth Williams Craig T Nelson Heather O'Rourke and Dominique Dunn in this one and um, produced by Spielberg uh, you know he's in there and um, there has always been rumors and questions over the years that you know over who actually directed the movie whether it was toby hooper or apparently spielberg kind of you know button in or, or whatever on set um great idea great story i love the whole the, the cemetery thing uh the cast is good heather o'rourke is brilliant in this i think i mentioned it in my review of the course uh the course films um blu-ray it's it's just kind of a any any of these three movies in the trilogy is the sad watch just because of all the deaths involved with the with the three movies um but um it is worth a watch practical effects i will say there is practical effects in this but there is kind of you know early um digital visual effects where the stuff's spinning around the room um yeah it looks hokey but keep in mind it was 1982 so um that's number seven uh, on my list poltergeist my number eight pick here is the brilliant 1980 the Shining. This is the 4K. This is out of that uh, amazing Stanley Kubrick box set. Um, you can see inside, it's really awesome. Um, of course, directed by Stanley Kubrick, cast on this one, Jack Nicholson, Shelley Duvall, Scatman Crothers, and Danny Lloyd. Um, Kubrick masterpiece, this is unbelievable, based on the Stephen King book, of course. Nicholson is phenomenal in this, just unbelievable. And um, the creepy old lady in the back, the evil twins, uh, the blood coming out of the elevator, all great stuff. Uh, do check out The Shining if you haven't. My number eight pick here on the list. So my number nine pick is the debut of Freddy Krueger. It's 1984's A Nightmare on Elm Street. This is out of the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, Blu-ray box set that I have here in the collection. Directed by horror legend Wes Craven, of course. Cast includes Robert England. Heather Langenkamp, John Saxon, Ronnie Blakely, and Johnny Depp. Young Johnny Depp making his debut here in this one. Uh, much like Kevin Bacon in Friday the 13th. Unique take on a kind of, you know, creating a new horror slasher movie um, by Wes Craven. Really well done. I believe he read like a newspaper article about kind of like sleep or somebody sleeping and dying and all this kind of stuff. Um, so really interesting. The opening kill of Tina really sets up who Freddy Krueger is and what he's all about. Awesome stuff. As the series kind of goes on, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy, I always kind of felt was the more funny out of the you know the the kind of slasher the horror icons and you know maybe becomes a parody a bit of a parody parody of himself later on in the series awesome debut here in 1984's A Nightmare on Elm Street so my final movie for the 1980s horror picks here is 1987's Prince of Darkness directed by the master John Carpenter once again this is the Studio Canal 4k box set here uh, awesome stuff what a great cast in this Donald Pleasance Victor Wong Lisa Blount and Jameson Parker evil in a tank in a giant tank green evil in the basement of a church scientists trying to figure out what's going on trying to stop it all as far as i'm concerned carpenter owned the 80s pretty much we're going to see some bonus picks that you know include carpenter here in a couple of seconds yeah really awesome alice cooper has a cool kind of guest spot in this movie as well it's really cool and um, donald pleasance is fantastic as always and this is a really cool one prince of darkness if you haven't seen this one do check it out so that's my last pick on the 10 80s horror picks okay guys so as i mentioned and uh, just a second there i have some bonus picks here because the 80s was awesome for horror stuff 
um, as an 80s kid uh, a lot of these are you know I, I saw a lot of these early on and they're really great stuff so first one up I'm going to throw at you is um, 1985's uh, Day of the Dead this is a really old school two disc special edition Arrow DVD and um, of course completes the George A. Romero trilogy a trilogy at the time until uh, Land of the Dead would arrive in the early 2000s but um, this I will kind of say I recently re-watched this and I always kind of felt Night and Dawn were my favourite of the three of these days a little bit leaker and um, there's not as much kind of cool zombie kills in day of the dead and um, there's a cool shovel one and um, but the, i really like the setting you know the kind of military the underground world war ii bunker all that stuff is really cool so that's a bonus first bonus pick there is day of the dead next one up as i mentioned uh, carpenter on the 80s this is the fog from 1980 again this is the studio canal the 4k box set really awesome stuff you know the opening sequence and uh, the ghost stories is really cool the ghost pirates uh, Adrian Barbeau in the Lighthouse radio station was really awesome uh, as a kid watching this one. Uh, the Fog is the next one up, definitely recommend that. Once again, we're sticking with Carpenter um, 83, I want to say. Christine, this is the 4K uh, version of this one. You know, a car that, you know, a killer car basically. Um, never saw any other horror like this. I know there's a couple of other ones out there like Jewel and stuff like that, but um, yeah, this was, uh, this was really awesome. The car looks cool. Um, great cast uh, in this one as well, Christine. Check this one out. This is like a 35th anniversary 4K edition. Um, next one up, uh, David Cronenberg's The Fly. Jeff Goldblum, fantastic in this. Really awesome. Like a, you know, the creature effects are super cool. And you know, Cronenberg is out there. And anyway, with that sort of the, the, again practical stuff, looks brilliant in this. Joe Dante's Gremlins, 1984. Um, I remember loving Gremlins as a kid. Like I have a tattoo of Stripe from Gremlins. It's in under. It's in under there. Um, awesome stuff. Um, you know, I remember as a kid, like Gizmo and stuff as a kid is hilarious. I have a little Gizmo was sitting up in here, one of the shelves. But uh, Gizmo is hilarious. But the evil Gremlins kind of creeped me out as a kid. But um, yeah, do check out Gremlins if you haven't seen it. That's an, that's a great horror. Um, my last kind of bonus pick up here. Um, I always say I'm a big fan of the Halloween franchise. So um, I'm going to show you guys 1988's Halloween 4. This is the Blu-ray out of the um, the uh, Scream Factory, Show Factory box set that's out of print now. But um, 1988 Halloween's 4, this was like the return of Michael. Um, so obviously he's in Halloween 2, which was 81. You know, and they kind of go away from that in Halloween 3, obviously. Um, but he comes back in 4. And um, there's some pretty cool kills and stuff in Halloween 4. I know a lot of people don't like there's, you know, there was issues with the, you know, Tom Morgan was cast as as Michael and then he's replaced by George Wilbur. And it ends up both of the actors are in the movie as Michael. But, um, you know, there's some pretty cool kills in there. And obviously, famously, the mask on the front is not the mask that's in the movie. But, um yeah really awesome stuff and you know Danielle Harris debuts in the Halloween franchise in this one as well so really cool stuff Halloween 4 is my final uh, bonus pick up here for the 1980s horror picks that's going to do it for the video guys once again let me know in the comments what you think um, are you going to check out any of these that you haven't seen before and um, don't forget it's my list so uh, as I said at the start of the video you don't have to agree um, with the picks here and if there is something not on the list it might just be because I haven't got it on physical media here in the collection so with all that being said if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and as i said at the start of the video if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell to get notified every time i post a new video i think you'll really enjoy the rest of the content that i produce here for the movie vault so that's going to do it for this video guys social media links in the top corner if you want to give me a follow on there and um yeah i will see you guys on the next video the next uh, halloween picks video obviously will be the 1970s so i look forward to seeing you guys on that one talk to you then